Hey folks, welcome to ADSR. I'm Stephen Ellistead. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel and follow on social media for great production content. In this tutorial, I wanted to take a little bit of a look at the live sampling function that just came out inside of the new machine update. And it's a really nice addition to the workflow because now we can literally create chops of our samples in real time. And so I just wanted to review that. I go in depth into the complete update in my course on ADSR courses. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. But this is just a quick look at how we can use that live sampling style chops with uh, the new machine update sampling. So I've got a couple of different beats and parts loaded up, uh, one per. So this is just a simple beat. And so to bring that in, it's pretty straightforward because I've already chosen stuff that is two tempo. It, it simplifies it quite a bit. I go into sampling mode. If I want to do that in the software, it's just going to be turning this on and off. And I'm going to look at my source. And the source is set to internal, which is what I want, and group A1. And I've already loaded it up on a pad, so we'll just pull it off of that pad. And I want to be in sync mode at four bars. I'm in sync mode because I'm already at the right tempo, and four bars because that's the length of the part I've already got loaded onto the pad. I could do this in detect mode if I didn't necessarily know the tempo or if I didn't know the duration, but then I would have to probably go in and truncate it. And so a couple extra steps we don't need for this part of it. So anyway, the way I like to load things up in detect mode is I go into step mode. I'm at fixed velocity, but I'm not all the way up, so I've got it at 100. Mostly because I don't want to overdrive when it's recording it in to the sampler. But that should be a pretty good level, and I'll trim this back just a little bit to be safe. Then I just need to hit start, which is either up here on the hardware or right here, and it'll say waiting. Now I hit restart. And so it's gone ahead and loaded it in, and it's already marked it out at the correct number of bars. If I want to turn that up a little bit, this is going to be off my Q bus rather than my sound bus. Now if I want to sample it, I just need to go into slice mode. I can either do that over here by choosing slice. Um, if I wanted to do any other adjustments, I go to edit. But uh, on the software, that's all going to be right up here. Edit, slice, or zone for a detailed keyboard mapping. And as long as we're in manual mode, which is now the default setting, now we can just literally get it playing by hitting the first pad and then create our additional chops. So we're able to create dynamic chops wherever we want. And then just to come in and adjust any of them, now we can either come through here and grab our starts and endpoints and dial them in precisely there or on the hardware zoom in as well by going into slice edit. But that gives you a pretty good idea of how we can just add in these chops. And if I want to remove a particular chop, I can just undo it for example. Or I can come in here and select my eraser tool for remove and boom, just like that, it will remove it. So it's a pretty simple workflow. And if we want to come over here, well, let's actually commit this first. And so we just need to hit either apply or apply to it. We'll just do apply and there we are. And we need to make sure then that we hit our pad mode to a polyphony of just one. but we've got all kinds of dynamic chops and we'll see that everything is exactly here, lined up in chromatic fashion on the piano roll. Pretty straightforward stuff, really. Let's go ahead and look at a different part. And this is a, I'll solo this out. And just like that, because I was already in sampling mode, it was already laid across there, now I have my samples and all I have to do is apply. And again, just set your pad mode to one and there's your polyphony. If we wanna come in here and fine tune or adjust the starting points of these, it's really easy to do so from the keyboard or we can just
lots of real fun ways to dynamically add in these chops. So we can see that just coming in there from the sampling mode will work as well. And we can see now if I come over to the third one, which is a simple bass part. Here we could do it a couple ways. Again, we can split it on the grid. We could split it up manually um, by just dialing in there with the slice tool. But again, I think the easiest way to do it is just to play it through and both play the, the parts where you have notes and the gaps you know, that you don't want in there. And so this gives you a couple of different options. And I like having those gaps of different durations. So again, I'll probably come in here and fine tune the start points and end points, but I've really quickly got some stuff in there for resampling. I can just go over here and hit apply. Again, pad mode to one. And so now we've got these all laid out, including with spaces. And again, maybe we come in here and fine tune the start point of that but it's a pretty straightforward process. So hopefully you got some ideas of how you can work with this, but you can see it's a really simple process and it gives us lots of great fluid ways of looking at our chops in real time as we're just kind of feeling our way through a groove. So thanks a lot. I'm Steven Ellistead for ADSR and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.